behind me is our new facility, conference room, dining room, recovery college. Just going to go in and have a look and show you uh, a bit around what's going to be happening in here. A lot of people have been asking me what is this new building that's uh, sprung up in the corner of the site. Well, I'm in here today and this is going to be the new building for our conference room centre, the recovery college and our new canteen. It's all part of the estate development and the new buildings that we'll be doing and the big changes that we'll see across the site over the next uh, couple of years. So this building, not finished yet, but it looks fantastic inside. Really light, airy, lots of space for us to be able to use for meetings and conference room. And there's good phone, mobile phone and Wi-Fi reception, in it, which I know is really important. So we expect this to be fully operational towards the end of January. Keep a look on Insight uh, for more information, but we're sending out information as well about when uh, it will be open and when the moves will be taking place. Yeah. I've spoken before about the changes that we're going to have to make around the site uh, for car parking, because we're going to have to be closing off large sections of the site as we start to redevelop uh, and start building new hospitals. So there's going to be some changes to car parking. Uh, some of the car parks will be closed it may cause some inconvenience and I'm really sorry about this but it's unavoidable so to try and minimize the impact that we've got with it we're opening some new car parks the car park behind me over at the golf course will be open and will be available for staff with permits uh, you need to look out on insight there's lots of information about what the changes will be we'll be sending out briefings as well but there will be changes look out for it make sure you know what's happening so I hope by now you're aware of making life better together and the things that we're doing to try and improve working lives uh, and make this organisation a better place for people to work and increase your job satisfaction. And there's an initiative we've now launched uh, where you can apply for some funds to be able to um, put into place some ideas that you may have. Now I talked to lots of you, you've got lots of ideas about what can be improved at work. Now here's a chance for you to actually do some of that. So we've made some money available to actually give out to people who've got good ideas to be spent at work uh, to help make your life, as I say, better uh, at work. So if you've got an idea um, of up to £500, well then we're going to have a bit of an uh, exercise where we'll put this to the vote on uh, the intranet and people will be able to say which ones they think are the best and the best ones will get the funding. If you've got other ideas that cost probably more than that, up to a thousand pound, well then we've got a scheme a bit like the TV programme Dragon's Den where people can pitch uh, an idea uh, and if successful we will give you that money to make improvements in your workplace. There's lots of information on the intranet about it. Look for a little light bulb symbol on our intranet, click on that and you'll find all the details there. Other information will be given out via your managers about this scheme take part in it. There's some money available uh, that will uh, really uh, improve things here. So I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone who's worked so hard in the Trust all year. We've had a really good year. We've had a successful CQC visit and the celebrations that we had for NHS 70 were terrific. Uh, there's many more things that we've done all year, too numerous to mention. And for those of you who are working over the festive period, uh, I'd just like to say an especially big thank you. So all that remains for me to say is Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.